Oh, hey there, Nick. Hey, Elias. Fancy seeing you here. I don't often see you down in these parts. Now, where's that old boat of yours? It's that butte over there. The one with that light blue spinnaker. Spinnaker, you say? Now, what's that? Is that one of those whiz-bang new gizmos I should be knowing more about? A spinnaker? And you call yourself a sailor? Huh. You old buccaneer. Mm. A spinnaker is the front sail of your boat. You know what else it is? What? Spinnaker is an open source, multi-cloud, continuous delivery platform for releasing software changes with high velocity and confidence. Let's jump to a demo. So this is a Spinnaker dashboard. And on this dashboard, you're able to see the resources that Spinnaker manages. In this case, we're managing resources on Google Cloud Platform, and we're actually going to exhibit a demo, which is a developer pushing code into our release branch, having that release branch be built, tested, validated, and then promoted into production, and then deployed into production. So if you see here, we have uh, two load balancers, an ingress load balancer for a staging environment, as well as an ingress load balancer for a production environment. Both of these are hooked up to Google Kubernetes engine clusters. And if you'll see here, they're both running the same Go application with a white background, just exhibiting the text, hello world. So let's say I'm a developer, and I want to release a feature change to this application. In this case, we're just going to change the background color from white to yellow. And to do this, I would just jump to my source code. I go ahead and adjust the index.html file to go from white to yellow, or in this case, light yellow. And then I would just push this commit into my version control. Um, for this case, I'm using GitHub. So we just go through the standard git commands, and we add a commit to say that we're adjusting to um, light yellow. And then once we actually push that into our code base, we're able to kick off our CI CD or continuous integration, continuous deployment uh, pipeline. So I just go ahead and log into GitHub. And then from here, we'll kick off that process. So if I hover back into the actual Google Cloud Platform console, you'll see here that we have a tool known as Google Cloud Source Repositories. And what this tool does is allows you to mirror GitHub repositories within Google Cloud backed by reliable, durable object storage. If you see here, we've already noticed that commit that I pushed into GitHub. And you'll see that commit adjust to light yellow background. And here, this is being noticed almost in real time. From here, we have a container registry build trigger that's basically monitoring that cloud repository and building a container, which will be our Docker artifact that will then deploy into the Kubernetes cluster. So you'll see here, there's a trigger that's monitoring our GitHub repo. So we've created this Docker image. It's been built just now. It's 288 megabytes in size. And we've tagged it with two tags, one latest and the other one, MD5 hash digest of the commit ID. So this is where Spinnaker comes in. What Spinnaker does is that it monitors a Docker registry. And when there's a new image that's uploaded to that registry, it'll kick off a pipeline. So if I hit the Refresh button, we should see a pipeline for deploying to stage that's about to be run. So you'll see here, it's now running. So this stage, what it does, if you see over here, it's monitoring that Docker registry or that Google container registry to see when an image is actually uploaded there. Once it detects an image has been uploaded, it then begins the deployment process. So here you can see we're deploying it to our staging environment using a red-black deployment strategy. So this takes some time to complete. We're going to take a quick break, and I'll come back once it's completed. All right, and we're back. And you can see that that deploy to stage step completed, and now we're held up at this validate stage. What's awesome about Spinnaker is that it gives you the ability to have a human intervention in your pipeline. So you have the manual judgment step, which allows you to, to approve this pipeline and move on to the next step when you've confirmed that your staging environment looks good to go. So we'll go back to our cluster side. We'll click on that ingress load balancer, find that IP, and I still have that open in my tab. So I'll go to my top right and check this page. When I refresh this, it does show that we made that change, and it is now a light yellow background. If, you look at, if we looked at the production environment, we'll see that it's still showing white background. So we'll say this is good to go. We'll hit continue, and that'll basically go to that next step. We've confirmed that we validated that the release stage is good to go. And now we're at the point where we're, we're comfortable to promote to production. So in this promote to production pipeline, we have numerous steps. And this also takes some time to complete, but ensures that you're able to do a reliable as well as a repeatable deployment. So I'm going to pause the video. We're going to come back once it's completed. 
And there we have it. The promote to production stage has completed. And at this point, we should have that pristine Docker image deployed into our production Kubernetes environment. So if we go back to that ingress load balancer, I still have that tab open with that IP. At the moment, it's still showing white, but when I hit refresh, it should go to light yellow. There we go. So at this point, we've done an end-to-end -end CICD deployment from source code into build steps, released into a staging environment, and then promoted into production. And Spinnaker is what makes this all possible. I thought I knew everything about sailing and GCP, but boy, I was wrong. If you're working on cool projects and you want to get in touch with us, click on the link below to contact us. Till next time. <laughs>